Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about the top 10 baby essentials, the things that I use the most from when my baby was newborn right the way up to him being one year old. Now having a baby is one of the most expensive things. You really can spend an absolute fortune on some really unnecessary things. As this video isn't sponsored, these are my honest opinions about everything that I've got around me. Everything that's around me I bought or family members bought them as presents when Theo was born. Theo is now coming up to 17 months old and some of these things I actually still use. So in terms of value for money, these things are A++. So before I jump into my top 10, I'm just going to be talking about those no-brainer essentials, the ones that aren't part of my list but are obvious things that you really need when you have a baby. The first one is the pram. I spent more on Theo's pram than I did on my very first car. There's such a massive range of different types of prams, all different models, all doing different things and to be honest I found it all really quite intimidating, the whole pram buying process. The pram that we ended up going for was the eye candy orange. It's actually dark grey, not orange. The orange is just the model of the pram. The reasons that I went for that particular pram was because it folded up nice and easily. It's just such a quick and easy function to get it to fold down. It was lightweight. It had a really deep basket on the bottom where I could put shopping or some baby things. And it had both the Moses basket attachment that you put the baby in when they're tiny. It had the attachment for the actual seat when the baby gets a bit bigger and can hold themselves up better. And it was optional. You could face baby in to look at you or out to look at the rest of the world. The other great thing about this particular pram was that if I bought these different attachments, I don't think the attachments were too expensive. In terms of value for money, it was a good one. The next thing that I have briefly touched on that's an essential and no brainer is the car seat. So this is the car seat that could fit onto the pram. I really like the shape of it. This one is the Maxi Cozy Pebble. I really like this model, obviously there's lots of different types of car seats that you can get. He was in it for the best part of the first year until he started to get too long for it and it's been fantastic. If you're interested in this particular model then I will link this down below. I'll also link everything that I mention in this video down below if you want to take a look. My third no-brainer purchase is the high chair. This is the one that I got, it's a Chico one. It's really good, it's quite lightweight. It's easy to clean and wipe down. It's got this really big tray that just clips onto the front as well. And to be honest, I didn't buy this straight away when Theo was first born. I left it to just before he started weaning at six months. Sometimes I think that the temptation is to just try and buy everything in one fell swoop and then it just sits there for ages collecting dust. But I didn't do that. I waited, did a bit of research and decided to get this one. Obviously, there's lots of different high chairs that you can get. I really don't think you can go too far wrong. So now that I've got that part out of the way, I'm gonna get straight into my top 10 list. Number 10 is this little bathtub. So when Theo was first born, I didn't bother with anything like this. I just used a damp flannel and gave him a top to toe wash and that sufficed. I didn't wanna dry out his really delicate skin. But as he got a little tiny bit bigger, I started to put him in this within our bath. So all you need to do is just fill this up up to around about there and then you can bathe your little one, give them a really good wash. It's fantastic because it's really easy to clean as well. There's minimal messing around with it and I just thought it was so much easier than putting a tiny slippy baby into a full on bath or a sink. When Theo got a little bit bigger and became too long for that bath, I ended up buying this. I was a bit torn, I didn't know whether to buy one of the seats that you can put them in that have the little suction pads on the bottom that stick to the bottom of the bath. I opted for this one. He wasn't crawling or anything like that when I got this. He was holding his head up, he was getting stronger, but he was still pretty immobile. So I used to put him in here, fill the bath up to around about this level and because it's a mesh material the water gets through and you can give them a really good wash. 
He was really comfortable, he liked to kick his legs and it was just a great alternative to the little seats that you can get. Also, it folds away really nice and easily and yeah, it's just a good little product. Number nine, I've gone a little off piece with this one, but it's an app, it costs around about five pounds, I think, give or take, worth every single penny. It's the Wonder Weeks app. Now, I don't often pay for apps, but this one is 100% worth it. It talks you through the baby's various developmental leaps, especially in that first year, they go through a whole series of developmental leaps. The Wonder Weeks app notifies you when your baby is due to go through a developmental leap. Usually when that happens it throws things like the sleep out, they get really grumpy, they come out of routine but it is only for a few days. The Wonder Weeks app tells you exactly what is going on with the baby, what skills they are developing and exactly how you can help them to develop. It gives you the heads up about when you're going to be going through these little stormy periods and for peace of mind it's a wonderful thing because I really didn't know much about these developmental leaps. I have recommended this app to so many of my friends just after they've had a baby and every single person has come back and thanked me for it. So it's well worth having a look at. My number eight product, I don't have it to hand, but it is the Chico Next To Me Cot. It's basically the next best thing to co-sleep in. The frame ties onto the frame of your bed, so it's right up close, and then you can unzip the side that's closest to your bed. It is their cot, but it's part of your bed as well, and I think that is the perfect go-between. It's a really, really clever product, and hats off to Chico, I think they're fantastic. And it was because of how much I loved the Chico next to me cot that made me go for the high chair. Number seven is this baby carrier harness. Both myself and my fiance Chris have worn this. It's so easy. You just pop your arms through like this, pop the baby down the front. It is a two man job and then it fastens at the bottom like that. We use this so much in the summer because we went to a few different festivals and when you're dealing with pushing a pram over grass or any terrain that's not great for a pram, this is the best possible alternative. This is the Kabu DX. This one is not for newborns. I didn't get one for Theo when he was a newborn baby and it's a decision that I regret after I started to use this because it would have been great to have had my hands free in those early days. If and when we do have another baby, I will definitely be getting a newborn version of this. I think this would be fantastic for mums who had toddlers and newborns, just being able to keep those hands free so you can do other things. Number six is a bit of an obvious one. It's a play mat. This one is the Jiminy Kick and Play. It's great because it's really very colourful. It's got soft toys that hang down. It plays music. It's got some little lights built into it. And when Theo was developing his tummy time, he would look at himself and chat to himself in the mirror. I bought my nephew one of these when he was first born and my sister said it was brilliant. She didn't have one, she didn't think of it. And she bought me one when Theo was born. And Honestly, it is one of the best things. It's great if you want to put the baby down. One thing that I like to do with this is to put a really nice soft blanket folded up as a first layer on top of my rug and then put this on top so it's really nice and padded and comfortable for baby. As you can see, it folds up nice and small. It's in here and I kept hold of this packaging and hopefully this will be ready to come back out for any baby number two. Getting to the business end of the countdown now, number five is this Mama's and Papa's baby seat. This is wonderful. I put Theo in here when he was three months old and was able to hold his head up. The way you get the baby in, let me demonstrate, this tray bit comes off, you put the baby in like that, just hold them steady, put the tray on, it hooks to each side, and there you have it. It's a nice elephant foot shape, so it's really sturdy. I actually also used this as a high chair before I had a high chair. It's really stable, and Theo was so happy and content in there, especially when I put this insert on, this comes with the seat, so it's got some sensory toys on the front and that 
just clips onto the tray and it keeps them entertained for a while. We use this right up to Theo turning one. Uh, by that point, he started to get strong, so this will get flung off and he'd try and pull the tray off as well. It comes in different colours. I ended up getting this one because I thought it was nice, bright and cheery, but it also comes in red, grey. I think there's a few different colours. I'm on a roll. Number four is the V-shaped pillow, which does what it says on the tin. It's a pillow that's a V-shape. I did a breastfeeding video not that long ago. I'll link that below. I talk a lot about this pillow as an aid that helped me to breastfeed comfortably. It is so, so tiring on the arm. It's not even for breastfeeding mums. It can be if you're giving the baby a bottle. Sometimes your arm just gets so tired. It's good to have that little bit of support and the baby's really comfortable as well. I took my V-shaped pillow pretty much everywhere that I went everywhere where I knew that I would need to feed the baby. I know it's not the most portable friendly thing, but it was great and I could feed Theo wherever and whenever. Number three is the Isofix base. Now I don't have this to hand because it's still in my car. It's still something that I use to this day. It is a base that clips into the back seat of your car. And onto that you can clip on most types of car seats. The one thing that you've got to bear in mind is that there are only certain models of car seat that are compatible with the Isofix base. So it's as simple as that. You basically put the car seat down onto the base and a green light will show if it's clipped in securely. If it's not quite clipped in securely, then a red light will show and you just unclip it and reclip it. It is one of the best inventions ever because it means that you don't have to mess around with looping seat belts through the back of the car seat. Theo is now into a bigger car seat than that one. It's still a maxi cozy model of car seats and I can clip him onto the Isofix base either facing the back window or it can be phased back so he can see me. He likes to see me because he's very nosy. But it's something that I'm still using now. It was pretty expensive but in terms of value for money it's definitely worth it. Number two is one of the unsung heroes of the baby world and that is these little sleeping bags. Now you can get these in all different places. This one is from Baby Gap. So I got this in all of the sizes once I discovered it. This one is a six to nine month. I had the naught to three month, the three to six month, and the nine to 12 month version of this. These sleeping bags really changed my life because when Theo was first born, he would not let me put him down. He used to scream the place down if I even tried to put him into his cot and it was just really difficult for those first few weeks until I put him into one of these little sleeping bags. It was a revelation. It was almost like him being cocooned gave him so much comfort and he used to sleep so well in his cot in this little sleeping bag. One of the best things about these sleeping bags is that this one has a zip. There's lots that you can get with buttons and little popping buttons and all kinds. I just don't think that they are as easy to use as this. During those early days, there are a lot, a lot of nappy explosions. To be able to just unzip it really quick and take the baby out so you can sort out the situation is a godsend. I think that this actually goes to most baby clothes. Anything that zip up, like zip up rompers for example, are so much easier than messing around with physical buttons. To be quite honest, I found lots of baby sleeping bags on the internet, but there wasn't that many at the time that I had the zip down the front. So if you can find them, definitely stock up. And here it is, my number one baby product is the baby monitor. This I am still using to this day. It is just brilliant. It puts your mind at rest. You can turn it right the way up so you can hear them breathing, which is kind of what I do because sometimes you get paranoid when you have a baby. You just want to check that they're okay. 
Um, it's got all kinds of features. This is the Motorola one. The thing that drew me to this particular model is that the screen is so big. Uh, I really like it. It's colour screen as well and it's just got so many functions on it. It's got it's portable and rechargeable. You can play soothing sounds from it. I don't because that would, if anything, wake Theo up more but it's there if you want it. It tells you the temperature of the bedroom, so if things get too hot or too cold, it'll flag up in the corner of the screen. And obviously it's got infrared night vision, so you can see the baby perfectly clear, even when it's really very dark in their room. This is also fantastic when people come round to look after Theo if we pop out for a few hours in the evening. It puts people's minds at rest, so say my mum coming to mind Theo or Chris's mum coming to mind Theo, they know that they can see him and that he's okay as well. It is 100% well worth the money because we are still using it now. If you're still with me at this point then thank you so so much. I've got a couple of honourable mentions that I don't think are as mind blowing as the rest of what I've mentioned but I still do think that they deserve a little mention nonetheless. Here are my honourable mentions. I've got some heat sensitive spoons that are fantastic for babies that are starting to wean. It, it just tells you if the food is a little bit too hot. I have some colourful plastic cups that Theo loved so much. When he was old enough to pick stuff up and he really enjoyed the colours as well, he'll still have a little play with them every now and again right now. Then there's this little snowsuit with the zip up the front. If you're out late for whatever reason and you need to get the baby into the pajamas before heading home, I like to stick this on top just to keep them extra snuggly and extra warm. And last but not least, this little mirror goes onto the back of your seat and in front of the baby's car seat and you can check while you're driving that the baby is okay. So that brings me to my top essentials for babies 0 to 12 months. I really hope that you found this video informative. If you found this video helpful then please give it the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!